dollars a month on pay to play services from PlayStation to Xbox to ESO to World of Warcraft to Smite. You know, some games like League of Legends might be free to play, but if you want to have all the creature characters, you got to pay a little more. And higher DC Universe is free to play, but if you want more than two characters and a faster queue in, so if you were, if I were to play them all, it literally is about twelve hundred a month, and then my electricity and cable bill for internet. So it's just it's I can't do it. Elder Scrolls Online is fifteen bucks a month, ten to fifteen bucks a month, and that's just ridiculous, ridiculous. The game's good. It ain't worth paying fucking, you know, 200 bucks a year to play. Um, I used, I used to play it on my PS3. I'll probably download it on my PS4 if I, if Ace does send it to me. You know, it's still questionable if somebody says they're going to do that, if it's going to come through. But, um, I, yeah, I, I would like to get, if somebody has the digital DLC, be able to game share, too, so I can... That's the thing. If, if he does send me a PS4, I don't have any games for it. So it's going to be, you know, game share, slow wait. I might be able to get Destiny for free because apparently when I ordered my copy, I got a PS4 digital for free. But I swear they never gave me any type of code or anything for it. Who are we trying to kill here? Yeah, yeah, this is your shit. I'm just looting, scooting, shooting. What's up, Crouch? I would hope nothing nothing at this level would be hard to kill. Yeah, I know. Two rockets to level 15 kills it. I always come over here and try to kill these guys because three different times I got legendary engrams from the dregs over here. I know it has nothing to do with these dregs, and there's been so many updates and hot fixes. Who knows? Yeah. Now there's one, a golden chest hidden down here on the water somewhere, and I need to get it. I don't remember where it was exactly. Oh, oh I know exactly where it is. I can show you where. I mean, I know the golden chests are the stupidest thing in this game. I'm sorry, they are. Where are you? Where are you though? Like, are you um, oh. surface. Don't worry about. It. I'm not rushing it today. We can do it on patrol on Venus or something too. Yeah, I thought you were over here with me. That's why I was asking you. Right I'm excited about GTA. Like this Saturday we'll be hopping into GTA, folks. If I stream, there could be a chance I'm taking Saturday off. I will be babysitting the kid this weekend. My girlfriend's going off to do one of her arts uh, workshops where she teaches uh, mask making and sculpting. And, uh, she'll be in Santa Cruz all weekend, so it's just me and the kiddo. But the kiddo, unfortunately, has been getting bad grades lately. Lying, stealing... And doing your average uh, turning 12-year-old pre-hormone bullshit. So he's been a lot of grounded nation. And uh, if he's grounded to his room for homework studying, then I will stream. Um, if he's not and he's behaving, maybe I'll be taking the day off to do some sun tanning, gardening, and playing Minecraft with the kiddo. But we'll see. It depends on if he behaves today and tomorrow. He's, you know, it's just how, you know... 11, 11 and 12 year olds, you know, pre-puberty, he's going to hit puberty hard early. Um, and, you know, he's been caught in the last month just doing a lot of lying. He even stole from school, stole the skateboard. And just totally bad at it and busted. You know, shit I knew was going to happen. That's just teenager 101. You can teach them and prep them not to, but they all get caught in it. The whole, like, we trust you to brush your teeth now, but he's not doing it. Bullshit. You know, nothing big, but... I'm not his father, but I gotta play father. Mostly because his father was a deadbeat drug dealer and he's dead. <laughs> so it's not really an option. But, uh... Okay, I don't know why he's not spawning it right now. But Saturday, if we do stream, I will be playing Grand Theft Auto because it's our busiest day. It's the only game that has a big enough lobby for a lot of people. Uh, and we're going to be working on the final bits of Mishima filming, Fun in the Sun, and then moving on to um, money making. So, yeah. I know a lot of people have been wanting to play GTA all week, but we'll be on it Saturday. Bang! Bang! 
I think if you put things to level 30, you should one more time on the story mode, you should get rewards. Just just once. Like if you do level 30 hard on the story all the way through, you should get like rewards again along the way. And uh, I thought it was kind of shitey that they give you the challenge, but they don't give you any rewards. It's... Um, yeah, well, uh, to be honest, the, what is, me and his mom talked about this morning, he's not going to be allowed to, so, but if I, uh, if I end up playing Minecraft just by myself, um, it depends. One of the worlds we're just working on together, we've been playing it for months, and we just go on every once in a while. If I'm playing, you know, but, I like playing Minecraft, but I'm really just kind of working on that, that RPG world, so we can get that back onto the show. I've just been taking... A l well, you know, it's one of those things. If people come in to build, they got to commit, and then they don't get to play it. So, it, you know, some people are like, ooh, I want to build, but then, like, you know, most of my builders and kind of bailed on me. <laughs> so I'm kind of doing myself. Pro's the only one that kind of stuck it out when he has time. But then, you know, there's a, it's, a, it's a work in progress, and then there's also the issue of the game constantly crashing since patch 113. So... But yeah, I definitely want to play some more Minecraft. It's one of those games I like to play by myself, off the show, just kind of to relax, you know? With or with people. It's one of those games I like to play off the show, just to relax. It's kind of nice. I know that most people would rather be, like, adventurers and become legends in the game than be the builders. I know a lot... You know, that's the thing. Me. Well, you know, to be honest, my... my Mine's the god Gaia of Earth, so a lot of my stuff will end up being like leather and wood. But like Gaia Splinter is a sword I have out there that has like every enchantment on it. So it's like a wood sword, but it has like never break and knock back and smite and like everything that doesn't overlap and take take away. So even though it's wood, but here's the thing. A wood sword like that is a lot easier to repair when it starts to break because it's wood. It's in, but the five enchantments on it make it really expensive to re repair. That's why experience, I think, is going to be the biggest commodity in the game. Because to, to, to repair some of my swords costs like 300 ex levels. Yeah. Like to rename Gaia Splinter costs 298 levels. So, yeah. You know, sometimes it's better to have the weaker... You know, the weaker... Uh, weapons yeah like that sound people like diamond weapons could have um you know one enchantment and wood could have five oh wow i died from the height that was hilarious yeah, but, sir, I already know who I'm gonna worship oh nice the blueberry well you, that's also up in the works too because basically f fear and angel kind of bounced on it so Oh shit. Planetary vent. Yeah, like I was hanging out with Fear one day. I'm like, I already know how I'm gonna worship if I ever find you in that server. It's gonna be fear. Yeah, and then it's also like working on how the dungeon masters are gonna work. Cause I have a feeling a lot of the days it'll just be me in there. You know? And I won't, I won't, I won't be following around my followers 24 7. I'm just gonna be doing my thing. Kind of working on the world, repairing it, restocking it. We obviously found that if you throw too much stuff out at a time, it can cause it to crash and lag. But, you know, I might be, you know, PS. if I get that PS4 from Ace, then, you know, Minecraft might be one of the games that I heavily stream on the PS4. Because I'm, maybe the lobbies are a little more st stable, you know. Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, so this is where the ghost is I was telling you about. The golden chest and the dragons. That's right up here. I'm, like, way ahead of you. No, I'm right behind you. Well, yeah, the ghost is right here where I'm at. It's a super hidden one. You gotta, like, jump all the way up here and get... I'm gonna show people on the show here. Now, you uh, won't see it, of course. I already got it on mine. But, um... It's right over here, people, in case you're looking. Um, you jump around from the back here. There's also a golden chest behind this yellow wall right there, folks. 
And then the dragons you can actually see from this area too. But it's a hit or miss. You got to come over here and look out over this valley right here. And, um... Oh, I made it. Did you find the ghost? Okay, so the ghost is back here. It's over there. On that... It's right over here. Back this way. Right. Yeah, right back there. And then the dragons, it's kind of a hit or miss thing, to be honest. Like, uh, I've seen them, and then I've been here for a while and never seen them. But, yeah, you just kind of watch out over this valley, and eventually you start... Where? Sniper rifle helps, too. Like, right over there. Yeah, I mean, you just kind of watch. There's also a city down below on fire. You can see it a little easier from not up here, like if you're down here, right here in this little... Hold on, I'm going down here. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, that's, that's a nice close one. Yeah, you can shoot him, I think, too. Maybe not. Yeah, so those are obviously not robotic. Screenshot. Well, you don't know. It could be. No, you can tell the wings have veins in them and they're colored. But they they look almost like big bats. But anyways, there's a creature. There's a couple more I see flying around too now. Um, I do believe that you're not going to see them on patrol as much. It's more about uh, being on the story. Kind of. Um, I've, I've come here on patrol. I don't think I've ever seen them on patrol. Yeah, I love playing Minecraft, but I have to admit, on the show, it's one of the most stressful games to stream. The freezing, the crashing, the constant bickering and fighting, stealing, destruction people do, and then how many people come into the show. Like, because it's Minecraft, I get a lot of, like, eight-year-olds that are like, I want to play! And we're, like, sitting in the show talking about, like, sticking wood swords up characters' asses. And I'm like, where are your parents? And they're like, they're not home. And I'm like, you're watching a mature channel on Twitch with no supervision? Like, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I, I mean, I know a lot of my viewers are under 16. Some are under 20. That's not it. It's, it's a mentality. Well, it's a mentality. I mean, it's, it's you know, Dominator is like 12. Firepower is 13, you know. But God Killer is only 14. But I thought he was like 30 when I started playing with him. Um... But it, it is definitely a mentality, you know. Some people are very immature 20, some are very mature 12. Um, and then there's me. I'm like in the middle there. Well, I mean, just in general. God damn it. Yeah, I know. Like right. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's probably 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 are the most common age I play with. Um, constantly. Not followers or viewers, just that I play with right now. But, you know, Twitch will be starting a new, uh, like, consensual-type age verification where, like, your parents have to come in and put the driver's license number in or something and, like, approve it. That was... That was all these different methods they were talking about. I don't know which way it's going to go, so we'll just wait and see. So you may come online one day and not be able to watch my show anymore because you're registered as under 18. I don't know how it's going to go because that's just really hard to figure out and secure over the internet. I don't think, well, Twitch does it to protect themselves, but really it's the parents' job that they need to deal with it. You know? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, that's why it hasn't really, you know, happened yet. It's because it's not really Twitch's job or mine or YouTube's or Top Hat or any of my other streaming networks. It's their parents. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the thing, too, is, like, I've got a 12-year-old in the house, so, I mean, you know, who's way too immature to play these kind of games online. Not that they're violent or anything, he just doesn't, you know, have the patience to be a good player. He doesn't really play video games. Like, he'll play, sometimes we'll play Borderlands together by ourselves in Minecraft, 
but and he's watched me play everything else. 